I'm not going to say this part because this is just embarrassing, but oh, Chris, that's Christian song. Turn to station. Like, that's how we were, you know? Christian music wasn't mainstream like it is now. As I'm driving and I'm switching through the stations just completely numb, and I heard that tag, I was like, whoop! There was nothing positive in my life that was such a beacon of hope for me. Although I still did what I did. Like, it's not like a, it's not a Hallmark story where, oh, shine, I heard this message and it saved my life. It didn't yet. (laughs) It was a huge seed planted during a broken part. I was broken. I was broken. We are all on a journey. We are all at different points on our journey. And that's okay. I'm Steph Reynolds, Director of Partner Care for Shine.fm. The purpose of our journey is simple, but sometimes difficult. Keep moving forward, becoming more like Jesus. Lori's journey, like many of ours, is full of twists and turns and periods of hopelessness. This is Shine 180, stories of lives transformed by God because of your faithfulness. Here is Lori's story. I was a mother of two children that I adopted from a Russian orphanage. That was just a really, really difficult challenge in my life. I'd always wanted to be a mom, and that's the way that God led me to be able to do it. So didn't know the challenges that we would have. Was married to a man who I thought was my rock, and what I didn't realize that he was an alcoholic. Long story short, we we went through a, a horrible, horrible, ugly, nasty, messy, yucky divorce and moved back to my hometown with the kids because I thought I would use the support of my family. I need the support of my family. I was introduced. I hadn't been going to to church. I had had lost God from my life, but I was searching. I knew he was missing, but I just didn't know how to find him. And my brother introduced me and invited me to come to a Christian church that he was attending and they were holding service in a school at the time. They were a young church, and I went, and the first thing I noticed was the music. It was different than what I had been exposed to growing up in, in the church that I grew up in, and and I really enjoyed that, and, and it really struck a chord in me. So as this divorce is, is now kind of gaining momentum, my life just started spiraling out of control. My kids were angry. They had these challenges that I didn't know how to deal with and they didn't know how to deal with and they were angry. I didn't, I didn't know how to be. I reached out for help. I reached out to a therapist. I started losing weight. I started not sleeping. I was given this cocktail of medications and one thing, try this and and that wouldn't work. So they would give me something else to try and that wouldn't work and anything to help me sleep or to help me find an appetite or to help me cope. It was like I was in a, a vacuum. I was completely emotionless. I had no feeling. I was numb. But I was going through the steps of my life and I was doing all of the things that I needed to do, trying to be a, be a good mom and, and get through this. I remember it like, I was, like it was yesterday. I was driving in my car. I was on I-80, headed to a job interview because I'm going through a divorce. I was a mom. I needed a job now. So I'm going to this job interview and and I was just I was broken and I was numb and and I was switching the the dial on the I guess you don't call it a dial. I was you know, switch, switching the channels on the on the radio in the car and and all of a sudden I heard this this tagline on this radio station that I had never heard of before because I was new to the area, back new to the area and it was positive music, positive message. And I, I froze on that station and I, I started listening. It was like, Jesus was in my car. God sent me a message that moment. And I felt, I felt a bit of hope. It was the only positive message in my life during a time when everything was breaking around me. And I didn't feel like there was anything that I could do. I wish that I could say that this part of the story has a happy ending, but unfortunately, every bit of the of the 
medication that was supposed to be saving my life almost ended it one morning when I woke up and I was just done. I was numb. I couldn't imagine breathing another breath of the life that I was living. And I, I swallowed it all. God stepped in again. Mom came to the house that morning because she didn't think something sounded right and, and found me. She thought I was asleep because I hadn't been sleeping. Thankfully, after several days in ICU and several days in the hospital and a whole lot of work, I started putting the pieces back together of my, of my very broken life. And I didn't think that, I didn't think that I could ever be whole again. I couldn't imagine being a mother, a daughter, a sister, a wife, an employee. <laughs> I came out of the hospital and I had, I had been moved out of the apartment that I rented into my parents' home. They had moved everything out. They sold my car. They, I had no job. My kids were back with my ex and I was here. The only thing I wanted to do was listen to Shine FM. <laughs> I needed that positive message. I needed a connection with Jesus. He tapped me on the shoulder on October 1st of 2011 and said, I'm not ready for you. You have work that needs to be done. And I don't know what that work is. He knows. There were times when I was, I was going to therapy and I would hear other people tell their stories of how they had been where I was and put their pieces back together. And I remember thinking, how could that be? But hearing their stories, knowing that it's okay, that God is providing you everything that you need if you just give it up to him. I'm driving down the road one day, listening to Shine. <laughs> I, I saw a sign for a church and I went home and Googled it. It's the place where we call home now. The power of this music and these messages in my life it's just been such an overwhelming blessing. I have Shine to thank for that. It feeds my soul. Shine.fm has fed my soul. Divorce, medications, suicide, counseling. Lori's story continues to unfold into a new reality and a new found hope. About a year later, I met this man, this, this amazing rock that came into my life, and he was walking his own grief, his own brokenness, uh, having lost his first wife to cancer. We met and we walked our grief path side by side for a long time. I introduced him to my church. Can I say it? Parkview. I introduced him to Shine.fm. <laughs> And now our favorite thing to do is go to concerts. And do you know, I mean, I've always been a music junkie and a concert junkie and love to go hear live music, but there's nothing like going to a Christian concert because it touches your soul. They just reach in and touch your soul. And I, I mean, even the first year that I was going to Parkview, and I'm listening to Shine and I'm hearing all of these songs and they are just resonating, you know, everything that I'm, I'm hearing, I feel like they're just talking to me. And then I go to service on Sunday and I don't think that for a full year I got through a service without bawling as I'm worshiping. And not just like a little tear dripping down my face, but like crazy, ugly crying with snotty nose and runny eyes so that people beside me are handing me tissues and asking me if I'm okay. And, and I read something once and I so truly believe this, that that's the Holy Spirit. When you have that emotion bubble right up out, out, out of you when you're worshiping like that, that's the Holy Spirit. A new joy, a new direction, a life with purpose. Lori's journey has taken a 180 degree turn into the pathway of hope in Jesus Christ. I got in my car to, I had a, a, 
an hour commute in the morning and I got in my car and of course shine FM and the very first song as I got in the car, the anniversary of my attempt was Peter Furler. I'm alive to this day. That's the song that I will just, it's, it's like my anthem and to hear that, like it, that, how does God know this? Right. You know, that day, because it's a hard day. We try to celebrate it now, you know, as this is my second chance, you know, my born again day, my rebirth, whatever, to listen to that song and to listen to the lyrics of that song, you know, it's just been such an overwhelming blessing. I have Shine to thank for that. It feeds my soul. Shine.fm has fed my soul. This was Shine 180, Lori's story. I'm Steph Reynolds, Director of Partner Care for Shine.fm. Your story matters. Your story offers hope and encouragement to others. Share your story today by calling 855-987-9866. That's 855-987-9866. Shine 180, stories of lives transformed by God because of your faithfulness.